And as much as I love seeing the setting of Chicago in this one, I had hoped for expansion packs with new cities. But much to my surprise back then, just a year later, Microsoft and Angel Studios released Midtown Madness 2 in the year 2000. And despite it billing itself as a sequel, for all intents and purposes, this is just a big fat expansion pack to the first game. Featuring the same cars, the same menus, the same racing modes, and much of the same game engine. But on top of that, it included another dozen or so vehicles, and two open world maps, the city of San Francisco and London. Also, this original North American boxed release is stupidly hard to find these days, so if you have a copy, please do your part to love and cherish that thing. Although inside it isn't very exciting, you get a jewel case featuring the game on a single compact disc, and a dinky little manual, which is only a few pages long. But hey, it's printed in full color and tackles all the gameplay basics, which is 100% better than no manual with racing games today, so I can't complain. After some introductory logo animations, it's straight to the main menu, with some ridiculously bass-filled music. <laughs> uh, my 15-year-old friends and I used to blast that song when comparing our subwoofers and seeing whose speakers could rattle my house's windows the most. Hmm, on retrospect, sorry mom, and thanks for putting up with our crap. Bye. <laughs> 